you know, I heard, I heard a few questions, and, and I guess I want to start by just saying the amount of feedback that we received regarding the location of Johnny Unitas was, was unbelievable. And, you know, kind of to reiterate some of the points that my dad discussed and hit upon, this is a, he's a fiber of our football program and our athletic department. And to hear the feedback and getting to talk to donors and fans and to see their sense of pride that they take with this really let us know how important this was. And, you know, this wasn't a decision that was rushed. We looked and analyzed a number of options. Um, this one certainly, um, to us, made the most sense. We had probably the most uh, positive feedback regarding this place. Um, the other area that was I mentioned earlier, some of the other areas, uh, downstairs, under, almost directly underneath us, where the, where the team does card march. You know, a lot of, a lot of it was, you know, kind of, I don't want to say, you know, with us playing Clemson, but, you know, with the Howard's Rock, having that type of thing as a team used to walk out of the football, uh, football stadium, to enter onto the field, everybody would touch him. So that was a, that was another option for us. But up here, it made so much more sense because again, this is a place that you know he's still able to peer and watch over the games. Plus, our fans are going to, all of our fans are going to be able to access it and see it from inside the bowl. You know, right now, currently, we um, this is a temporary base. This is something that you know, again, not, not a rush decision. Um, what we're going to have, we're going to have a beautiful granite base that goes all the way around it. Um, it's currently in production. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do is we've been able to um, we've been able to save all the, the original um, donors to the paver project. So we're able to get their names engraved on the base. So that way we'll still be able to recognize them, which is something that was really important to us. It was a, a lengthy project that for us to be able to category, uh, catalog those names, but something that, again, we felt very important to us to be able to do. So uh, again, I think fans are gonna be pleased. This is a special spot for it. And um, I guess any other questions? You know, the feedback that we received from donors and fans was simple. It was just, you know, we didn't have access to it. You know, we want to be able to take pictures. We want to be able to interact with it. And with, you know, where currently it was situated, unfortunately, it just it didn't make sense. And it was, they weren't able to get there. So that was a key decision-making process for us is to say, okay, here, where can we put it where people can take selfies, get pictures with it, and, and be proud of it, you know, to have it for the first time and you know, access to it in the first time in almost 19 years. On the relocation process? Right. No, we did not. Mark, I've done a stadium. It looks, looks like sure. they've come along, and as you hear on game week, is it where they, you guys want to be? Exactly, it, it is. And I, you know, I, I applaud Messer again. You know, as we had our conference a couple weeks ago, they're right on point, they're right on schedule, and I've done a great job. A couple of the highlights that you've been able to see is if you look in that Northwest Tower, it's just, you know, it's, it's, you'll see how high the actual stadium goes. I mean, that's, that'll be where the scoreboards are next year. So you have one there. And then on the opposite side, you have another mirror. But again, this just kind of helps give a uh, give a perspective on how big the stadium is going to be. You know, I think we talked about last time was, you know, all five of the pillars would be topped out. All five are, are topped out. So we feel very good with where we are with the construction. And uh, you know, again, kudos to Messer on the great job that they're doing. I'll ask you as well. Was it a little extra hectic this week trying to get ready for not only a home opener and doing all of this and the construction, but now game days in town as well? It's a it's a great problem to have. You know, we're very fortunate. We've got a great team. Um, you know, all, all the way through. Uh, Kenny's done a tremendous job. Michael Ortman, who's our stadium manager, have worked really hard uh, to ensure that everybody has what they what they need uh, to be able to get this done. And um, I think, you know, from right now, we've, we've been pretty successful with it. What's been the feedback that you're hearing out of the community about the fan base the I think it's probably the same that you're hearing. It, it's just it's, it's it's a lot. You know, that's all people are talking about. You know, I think you couple of that with playing your first home game. You know, the football team's got great momentum coming into the year. You know, you start 2-0, and you know, have, have great great showings in both games. And A, to have your first home game here, but then you couple it with game day, I think the excitement level is just reverberating throughout the city. And it's something that we're uh, excited to have. Will they work up tomorrow and then take a day off per game and then come back? They will. Tomorrow you'll start to see them start to secure the site. And so safety is a big issue for us. And, um, so you'll start to see them really walk through and to make sure everything is, um, they've done all their safety measures, to make sure their the protocols are correct. Out. Team will still come out through the middle, correct. Other questions? Yeah, Coach, you know, Thank you all. Thank you guys. Thank you all. Any questions on any of this?